What's up everybody, including ones who may be coming from XDA forums. I got a little video for you guys. No, it's not an LG G4. It's the LG G3. I have both of these phones here just so you guys will know the difference because I've actually had a few people getting lost at uh, the difference between a G3 and a G4. This is the G3. It should tell you in the back somewhere. Nope. But you can tell by the buttons. That's one way to doing it. So, yeah. And the phone's pretty flat too. Difference between the G3 and the G4. G4 would definitely would tell you what it is in the back. The phone's curved. Got a slimmer power button. It's got this nice detailed back. And it's, and I don't know if I mentioned it's curved with a better camera. So, like I said, we're not working on this phone. We're working on this one, the LG G3. Well, I'm going to show you guys, and this time I'm not doing the same video like I did with the G4. I'm not going to sit here and eat a whole bag of marshmallows, because yes, that's what we're going to do today, is downgrade this phone to 10B and then rerouting it. I might just put this uh, phone on uh, Lollipop again, but right now I'm on 10B, which I will show you guys here in just a second before uh, I will update the phone back to 47A. And I want to give a big thanks to one of my friends who has helped me out. Alright, I'm sitting right here taking the time to uh, upgrade into 47A, and I'm going to prove it to you. I should have started in the beginning. App settings, belt phone, software, right here. 47A. So, most of you guys around here are going, ah shit, I took the OTA. I'm on 47A and I'm stuck to it. How do you downgrade? I've actually had somebody ask me this question around 2 o'clock in the morning. So let's get right to it. I'm going to show you guys how to downgrade this. So Links are provided in the, uh, in the description. But before we get to it, give the, the Road Warrior... A huge thanks. And I mean, come to this post. This is going to be the number one post. You'll see this guy right here. His name is spelled backwards. So if you guys like to go, where is the road warrior? Well, he's right there. His name is highlighted. Go right on there and start slapping that thanks button for him to actually help me out in finding the perfect tool to downgrade from 47A to 10B. And that's as far as I'm going to go, is going down to 10B. If you guys need help with Root, I don't mind helping you guys from there. Installing Stump and uh, doing all those other stuff is very, very, very easy to do. But if you guys are really having a hard time doing it, I don't mind making a video for it. Uh, just to cover all this, this is the first LG G3 video I have ever made. And I've actually owned this phone for almost two years. So, yeah, first phone, pretty old, and uh, people are wanting to know how to downgrade. So let's get right to it. The link's going to be provided down below. And in this post here, he also provided a link for the download. Oops, those are the things that me and him were talking about. Where is it? Right here. I went right here, you don't need to worry about that. You will need to worry about this. You're going to need that DLL file. When you're in here, do regular download and um, start downloading. I, however, got it somewhere and it's lost somewhere in my computer. All right, and we're back. I had to find the file, I forgot to drag it, but you guys will have it in the zip archive file. So what you guys need to do is extract it right here. So this is all the stuff we're going to need. You should have like five of these. This is just a shortcut. We'll get to that in a little bit. First what you need to do is install the Verizon drivers. 
Don't I mean to uh, repeat myself there. Uh, once you get the drivers installed, you're going to be coming over here to this post here. You are going to download the LG Flash Tool V.1.8. V1 you're going to be taken to a page like this. You just type in the four numbers, wait about five seconds or so, whatever. Well, it's actually counting down now. Once you get the number typed in there, click the, uh, create download link. And you're going to do the same thing for the Verizon drivers and uh, Mego Lock DLL file. Alright, once you get all of those, oh, I forgot one more thing. There will be another post that I use where I got the TOT file. This one right here. So this one uh, that I got and it worked so no big deal so once you get all those downloaded should have all five of these install the drivers once the drivers are installed go ahead and install the flash tool and when it gets to the point to where it will ask you to run the program just uncheck that box where it says launch the software and then just uh, go ahead and hit finish when you do that you're gonna right click this uh, Mega lock DLL file and we're going to go to our C drive LG LG flash tool and we're going to paste it in here there will be already be a DLL in there so once you paste it just tell it to go ahead and override it and when you do that you uh, then ready to run this software and this is what a shortcut will look like when you guys see it pop up on your desktop so before we even run it, we need to go to our device manager. So go to your control panel if you don't know how to get to it. If you're running Windows 7, just click on start. You should see control panel pop up on here. Uh, as for Windows um, 8.1 and 10 or Windows 8, just right click the start menu and you'll see control panel. I don't got it showing right over here, but that's how you do it. I just got mine in the shortcuts in the start menu. So when you do that, go to Device Manager. And we're going to look for our ports. Right click the LG Mobile for Verizon USB Properties, Port Settings, Advance. And we're going to click on the COM port number. And we're going to bring this down to 41. Mine says in use, but don't worry about it. It's because I was playing around with the method earlier. Uh, just click on the COM41, press OK, and then OK. You can close all this stuff out. And then we're going to take our phones, and we're going to put it in download mode. To do so, if your phone is already plugged into your computer, disconnect it. We're going to power off the LG G3, just turn it off, no restart, just turn it off. Alright, when the phone's completely off, hold down the up button. As you're holding the up button, insert your USB cable cord. Keep holding down the up button until you see the download mode logo. Can't turn my hand anymore. Phone will vibrate again and then it will show that. As soon as it shows that logo, you're in download mode, set the phone aside. Alright, and you will be in the firmware firmware update. And now you gotta do is set your phone aside. Run this program. If you're being prompt, just say yes. Wrong DLL file. I'm not worried about it. Uh, whenever you run this, you should be able to uh, select manual mode. Go to where your DLL file is. And it's the LG Up 8974DLL. And then we're going to find our TOT. VS9851010B B underscore zero three dot tot. We're gonna open those. Make sure it's set to upgrade. 
Make sure your connection is set to USB. Press OK. Then we're going to go ahead and hit the arrow. Okay, it's giving me a failed for some reason. If you get the same error that I am, check your comm settings. Make sure it's set correctly. Driver's installed. I don't know why mine is erroring out for. It probably hates me. Let's remove all of those. Uh, make sure we got the tot. Okay, that's what the problem was, people. It's because I moved the files around. That's why it was airing out. I'm going to sit here and play the waiting game. We'll probably play some Jeopardy while we're waiting. Alright, once you're in here, you should see all the COM ports set to disable, but you only have one that says ready. What you need to do is disconnect your phone for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Then plug it in. Then you'll see some activity right there. It will say waiting for connection and then it's going to do its thing. Then all you got to do is just go on your Xbox One, play some Call of Duty or whatever you guys do for fun while this thing is doing the downgrade process. You guys will have your phone doing this with a little logo that says Mini OS, and then you will get this. Factory reset status, you'll see a nice big red 2 and then a nice big red 3. Do not unplug anything until this program right here says your phone has passed, as you guys just now see. 101 uh, seconds. Okay, so you guys are probably sitting there going, what the hell is this? Did I soft break my phone? Well, when I first saw it, I thought I broke my phone. And I was like freaking out for a second, like, oh shit. So I had to do a little research to find out what it is, and this is normal. I mean, the phone's back to its factory reset setting, so. Unplug. Turn the phone around. Pop off the back. Take out the battery. Put it back in. And start her up. Phone's gonna reboot a few times before it starts kicking in the 10B. You got a little nice Android. An LG logo. And then you should see that beautiful Verizon logo that everybody hates. I mean loves. And I think it will reboot again in just a few seconds. Now, unless it did its reboot after that Android logo. Huh, I don't remember. <laughs> oh no, I won't reboot. Okay. 
So as you guys can tell, the logos down here is different, so we are successfully back on KitKat. So I'm going to skip all this crap. Use Wi-Fi. Next. Skip. Leave setup. Okay. Board. App drawer. Settings. About the phone. Software information. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. You are now on 10B. And that's how you successfully downgrade your phone from 47A to 10B. Enjoy using Stump Root and uh, TWRP the whole nine yards. I'm going to start doing that with my phone, too. So I hope this video helped everybody. Please thank the Road Warrior for helping me out and uh, showing me these other posts to making this successful. You guys have a great day and smash that subscribe button. You guys want to know more things about the LG G3, how to root it, uh, show all apps, the whole nine yards. I don't mind doing research and making videos for you guys. You guys have a good one. Peace.